Before now, residents of Angwampa and surrounding villages in Panda Development Area embark on journey of several kilometers before accessing medical care as motorists, particularly motorcyclists, struggle to access their homes due to the bad nature of the only road that links the area. However, the people are beginning to have a sigh of relief as the Akala-led administration built a comprehensive primary health care center for them even as the grading of the road to Angwampa has since commenced. Inspecting the project, Samuel Gajira Kala said the oath he took was to render selfless service to the people, hence the construction of the primary health care center in Angwampa and the ongoing grading of road to the village which will be commissioned before the end of his tenure. We will continue to work for our people, we will continue to prioritize those things that will improve the livelihood, particularly of those of our people who probably hitherto have lost confidence and lost hope that the cannot believe that government will remember them and that is why you see us coming back into the communities now to see how we can uh, improve the lives of our people. While appealing to the state government to intervene, particularly in constructing the two bridges along the road, Akala stressed the need for beneficiaries to take ownership of the project by safeguarding them jealously. He used the medium to call on residents of the area to support government's policies and programs and encourage peace at all times. Today, if this community does not live in peace, we won't be here to talk about a clinic and talk about grading of their roads. We'll be thinking of bringing peace. It means that peace is priceless, so we'll continue to enjoy our communities, continue to live in peace, so that we can continue to attract this kind of development to our communities to improve the livelihood. Of our people. Contractors handling the project, Prince Ademoyiwa Olorunfumi and Engineer Loki Awe, promised to deliver a good job before the deadline given to them. Hopefully, eight days as she round over the project. Very soon, probably by next week, we'll hand over by the grace of God. Some of the beneficiaries, Juma Iwas and Beatrice Obiri, were full of praises to Akala for his people oriented projects and declared their total support to his government. From Panda Development Area, I am Moses John reporting.